Well, hey guys, what's going on? Jamie here. Just a quick video on uh, crypto debit cards and give you my thoughts on some of these different cards that I have in my link tree. I'll talk a little bit about Ultimo because I did a video on it yesterday and I'll be getting quite a bit of you guys hitting me up over on Telegram about it. Uh, some of you guys may have had some issues with the KYC, so I'll give you some, some uh, pointers on that. Uh, but anyway, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Of course, it goes without saying that I am not a financial advisor. Never take anything I say as financial advice. If you are going to get into anything in the crypto space, please do your own research and due diligence and only put in what you can afford to lose, okay? Also, follow me on Telegram. I will leave a link for that down below. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so you'll get notified straight away whenever I do a brand new video. So that being said and out of the way, guys, Ultimo, I did a video on this yesterday. Um, and again, Lots of cool things about it that I like. You can actually go and uh, research it a little bit on your own. I will leave a link to this website down below. Lots of FAQs you can go over. And again, if you want to get information on their uh, Platinum wallet, you can. If you want to get information on their offshore bank account, you can. A lot of you guys are looking for the debit card details. So you can see here um, that it can be used for shopping, withdrawals, ATM use. Again, it's linked to your offshore bank account that you get when you create an account uh, by the way it is available in union pay for those of you guys that like to use union pay uh, most people will probably just use it for visa and again anywhere that visa is accepted in the world uh, you'll be able to um you'll be able to uh use this card okay um here's some some more details that i didn't really cover yesterday that you can check out uh, no limit oh, excuse me no load fees no load limit no hidden fees lowest exchange fees, um, uh, no spending limits. Okay, so that's that's pretty that's pretty big. Okay, no spending limits, um, high ATM withdrawal limits. Again, as I mentioned yesterday, up to $20,000 per day, you can withdraw out of an ATM. Um, again, assuming you can find an ATM that has that much cash in it, but I guess the, the workaround, as I mentioned yesterday, is, you know, you can hit up, two, three, four different ATMs, I guess. But the fact that you can have a $20,000 daily limit is uh, pretty big. I mean, again, I don't know why you would want to withdraw $20,000 a day from your ATM, from an ATM, um, but at least the option is there, right? If there's a an emergency or you need to off-road or, you know, off-road, <laughs> if you need to off-ramp a bunch of crypto at one time for whatever reason, I don't know, right? Um, you have the ability to do that um, because again, there is a very, very high limit for, for daily withdrawals. So a couple of you guys have had some issues with the KYC. Uh, most people haven't, but I did have a few people that said, Hey, I, I was declined for the KYC. Uh, if you, if you are declined, just go ahead and resubmit it again. Um, they do give you a reason, uh, if, if there, if there is an issue with your KYC, they give you a reason why you were declined. So go review that email or, or you know, log into your back office and, you know, they should be showing you why you were declined. Most times it's because uh, the name on your ID and the name you put in when you created your account, uh, there might be a discrepancy. There might be a, an issue with maybe your middle name that's on your ID and you didn't put it in the, when you created your account or vice versa. Just keep in mind that your the name that you put in has to be identical to the name that you have on your ID, okay? Um, or the other reason why you might have some issues is maybe your the, the picture you took, the selfie you took with your ID may not be clear. It might you you know they may not be able to see your ID on the selfie. So make sure you you know take a clear picture or maybe zoom in on the ID a little bit. But go ahead and resubmit the KYC. You should be fine. Um, again, I think there's lots of potential with this card. Um, you can see here the pricing. 600 bucks to open an account, but out of the 600, 150 goes into your um, account. And so you will be starting with $150 in your bank account balance. And again, you know, lots of cool things. My biggest thing is high ATM withdrawal limit and a uh, no spending limit. So very, very cool stuff. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you want to check out Ultimo, um, again, it does come with an offshore bank account, which is pretty cool. So I'll just click on that real quick. So it says here an offshore bank account will be open when you apply for an Ultimo Pay Ultimo Pay Visa debit card. Once the application is approved and account opening payment is settled, you will receive your Ultimo Pay card within 10 to 15 days. You can load your bank account directly 
through your Ultimo Pay Platinum wallet. Okay. Um, so again, you can download the app. Pretty cool stuff. Again, there's a lot of information here that you can uh, go into. You can read about the card terms, the, lo the loan terms, exchange terms, if you want to take advantage of those services. Most people do will just use it for the card. Um, and then again, you can check out the FAQs um, if you like. Okay. So again, Ultimo can be used anywhere around the world, which is pretty awesome. Um, the other uh, crypto debit card that I have in my link tree is unbanked. Previously, it was called Block Card. Uh, this one's been out for quite a while. I've been using this card for more than a year. I would say even maybe a year and a half, um, maybe even two years. It's been a, it's I've been using this one for a long time. Um, and this one also you you can use it anywhere that accepts Visa. You can withdraw out of an ATM. You can use um. You know, obviously you can spend. There is limits. Uh, again, it's not as high as Ultimo or some of these other ones that I'll talk about. Um, I think the withdrawal limit from an ATM, I believe, is five hundred bucks. The daily spending limit is five thousand um, bucks. I never exceeded those limits anyway. Um, but again, if you want a higher limits, then maybe um, the other options might be for you. Um, cool thing about this is it's available in most states. Um, you know, there are some states that have some issues with crypto. What I found is this one here is available in most states. Um, and the cool thing about this is you can get cash back. Okay. Um, you can get cash back. So you can earn up to 6.38% in rewards when you spend your crypto. So I'm getting 6.38% in rewards and in, in not cash back in, in a crypto back, right? In, in, in their token, uh, when you spend, when you use your card, okay. The, the way you're able to get those rewards is you're staking their token, um, and if you're staking their token on their platform, you can receive up to 6.38% anytime you use the card, okay? Um, it also comes with a bank account, and uh, you get a physical debit card if you like. I have a physical debit card, and again, you can buy, sell, and send crypto to other members pretty easily. Um, same thing as some of, the, some of these other cards. You can do that as well. Uh, but, you know, cool thing about this one is I do get crypto back whenever I use the card, Okay. Um, this one here is Infinity Club cards. Um, unfortunately, they haven't been able to launch in the U.S. just yet. They are still trying to figure out the way, uh, you know, a workaround towards that. However, if you're not in the U.S., then all, you know, all, uh, you know, you're 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 good to go. You have the green light. You can go ahead and purchase your card. I believe they will be sending their first batch of cards out next week. Um, again, lots of uh, cool features about these different cards, depending on the card that you get. You're going to have different benefits. And again, these also have very high thresholds when it comes to uh, daily spending and ATM withdrawals, you know, daily on a daily basis. So again, very, very high thresholds as well. Uh, unfortunately, they haven't been able to open up in the U.S. just yet, uh, but we'll see how that goes. OK, you can actually check out the cards right here. Uh, you have different cards available to you. There's the Platinum Elite, Platinum, Diamond VIP. Again, the, the 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 obviously you'll get more benefits with the Diamond VIP member than the Platinum membership. But again, you get in where you fit in. You use it as you see fit. Um, this one here, there's a fifteen thousand dollar daily transaction limit. You could spend one hundred fifty different currencies anywhere in the world. Your daily international ATM withdrawal is up to five thousand. Um, and again, you can seamlessly sp spend digital currencies using your Infinity Club card. Um, so yeah, there's a uh, lots of cool stuff here. So again, de de depending on what card you're using, you'll have different benefits. Like I said, we're still waiting for them to announce the launch of the U.S. Um, but again, you can go ahead and purchase your card and move forward if you're not in the U.S. Okay. Uh, also, I wanted to preview this card right here. So again, this card. Um, this is going to be a card they're going to be launching. They're beta testing it right now. This is the debt card from IX Global. This is going to be pretty awesome. I'm assuming, but I don't know exactly, you know, the details. I'm sure we'll get the details as we move forward, but I'm assuming you'll be able to load your uh, debt, your, your tokens from the debt ecosystem in here and spend them if you need to. But I believe they'll have other cryptos as well. So it says here the beta list is going out this week, and this is going out to select individuals and select markets. This will be a trial. For us to understand the process of onboarding and once we are happy with the testing we will launch this live to the community with the resources you need to purchase your card there are four levels with different annual costs 
and the debit card limits are annual transaction limits. Uh, launch details will be shared after the trial. So again, this is going to be coming down the road. They're they're in beta right now. They're trial testing it, and um, just to see what these um, look like here. This is the digital card. Obviously, you don't have a physical card. With the plastic card, there'll be fifty bucks, which is pretty standard. This is the wallet limits. This is the this is the transaction limit. This is annual, by the way. So two hundred and fifty thousand a year you can transact. The metal card will be seven hundred fifty bucks. The annual transaction limit will be one million. And as a gold card, that's fifty thousand dollars for the card. Of course, it's because it's gold. You'll have unlimited transaction limits. Um, again, if this is something you know, some of you guys might need it. Some guys might not. You might be good to go with the plastic card. Um, you know, cool thing about it is it's another option for a debit card that we can have in our tool belt. So for me, just like I'm diversified with a lot of different platforms, I want to be uh, diversified with several different crypto debit cards. I don't want to be tied into just one. There's an issue. And then I have funds in there that I can't use, or let's say I don't have funds that I don't have funds tied up in there, but I wanted to off ramp, uh, some crypto and I can't for whatever reason. So I want to have different options. And I want to have, you know, four or five, six of these things in my wallet just in case I need them. Not that I would, you know, I don't even think I would need them, but, you know, just you never know when there's an emergency or you need to, you know, you need to cash out some crypto for whatever reason. So I'll give you more options. There's a couple other ones that I'm looking into, but these are the ones right now that I have in my in my tool belt, in my link tree. Um, there's a couple other ones that I use, that, but, you know, to be honest, not really worth even mentioning. Don't really like them too much. Um, but yeah, if you want to check any of these out, or if you want to add these crypto debit cards to your tool belt, I will leave links down below or in the link tree in the description box. Um, but yes, yeah, again, it's always good to have um, these at your disposal just in case you need them. All right, guys, just a quick video. Again, follow me on Telegram, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.